Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how to become synthesizer. Who is called synthesizer? Synthesizer is someone who is capable of doing different things and is versatile in the nature. He has diverse interest, he has intellectual curiosity, he reads a lot, he consumes a lot of good information. Let's understand this little deeply. Synthesizer is someone who synthesizes the information he is consuming from the different sources and then when he synthesizes that information he formulates new ideas which people would love to watch and which even can change the world. Synthesizing is different. Synthesizing is that I am consuming the information and I am trying to observe and trying to find that what thing he said is right or wrong and what thing the author should say that he has not said yet and then I am synthesizing, I am observing then what I am doing, suppose I read a book on online writing or copywriting now someone gave me a rule and I person A consumed it and followed it person B thought about it, observed it that it is right or wrong, how it is right, how it is correct, how it can be incorrect. And then he read other authors to understand what they are saying on the same thing, to understand different perspectives. And then coming up with the one perspective that is powerful, coming up with the right words and how you come up with the right words when you learn to write. So th synthesizer, if you are a synthesizer, you learn to write as well. So let me clarify, what is synthesizer? Synthesizer who consumes information and asks every possible question to that piece of information and then consumes more information to find the questions he imposed on that given information and then he formulates new ideas, then he formulates new strategy, new way of thinking, new perspectives. So this is called this being synthesizer. This is how you synthesize and this is how you become synthesizer. I did not know this when I started my content creation. I made a video on storytelling. For that video, I watched around 25 YouTube videos of more than one hour. I read one book. I talked to different people who are in this space and then I came up with this video. But I was feeling that this is not my information. So I talked to my coach, Sunny. Even I have a podcast with him. So I told the same problem that this is how I am creating content, is it, it is the right way. Then he replied that this is the most efficient way to create content, that you consume the information, you put question on that information and now you have put some questions on that information, you read and consume other information to find the answers of the questions you just put on that information. That's how you are going really deeply into that, that space, whatever you are uh, talking about whatever you are reading about whatever you are consuming so I realized that okay and then I came across this creator Andrew Kirby he has a school community how to become a high ticket synthesizer this is a school community you can join a lot of synthesizers are there they create videos content and sell so I came across this concept and I was like I also do the same thing and now it's been more than one year I am into this uh, content creation space. So I have some experience to talk about how to become synthesizer. So I just told you who is called a synthesizer. And I told you that where it came from. Even six months ago, Dan Coles made a video where he talked about synthesizing. Naval Ravi Kant, I think he was the first man who talked about this thing that learn and synthesize. So it is an interesting concept. If you are an online writer, this will help you to come with, come up with great ideas. Even in my last videos, I talked about how you can create types of mentor. In that video, I also talked about how you can become a synthesizer. This video is completely dedicated towards being synthesizer because I want to talk more about this topic. So let's get into it and understand that how to become synthesizer. Well, I have made some step-by-step -step framework. Step one. Consume all the content of your interest. Now, your interest is derived from your curiosity. Curiosity is basically what thing fascinates you or what bothers you. Suppose, 
right now I'm struggling with this problem that how to manage time, how to do these writing and outreaching to the clients and recording videos and going to the gym, reading book. This main task that I really want to keep doing, how to do these things. And I'm finding a lot of different answers. Some people say that you should follow this rule. Some people say that you should do this. You A lot of chaos, a lot of noise, not chaos, a lot of noise is out there. And understand that noise. In every industry, whether it's fitness or content creation, there, there is too much noise. Some people will say this and other people will disagree with this. And you are just a beginner confused between two of them. What you should do? I am figuring out about my problem. So what I will do? I will talk about this problem. I will write about this problem. I will read and consume all the content out there available for me on this productivity or on the time management. Of course, there will be noise. I have to understand the noise to create the piece or to remove, to to vanish that noise in the industry. How do I vanish it? I will come up with new ideas, new perspectives. And how will I come up with new ideas and new perspectives? By consuming the information. No, by synthesizing the information. So step one is consume. Consumption is important, but I am not asking you to confide yourself to the consumption part. Consumption is just a step of the synthesizing. So first step is consume. What you are going to consume? Books, videos, podcasts, letters, blogs, articles, tweet threads, anything. Anything that fascinates you. Step two, write about everything in your notebook to understand yourself better. Now what I meant here, for example, I'm watching a video, book or or letters, reading letter to understand this concept of time management and productivity. So what I am doing here is I'm understanding and I'm understanding, reading, reading, consuming. So there are a lot of things that I would like to write. And even if you don't like to write, just write. Even if you are a terrible writer, just write that what you are feeling. Like you come up with this thing. I'm not asking you to make notes. For example, I learned this new method of productivity. So what are my experiences? What are my feeling that no, I think I won't be able to follow it. This is the issue with myself. Yeah. Or this strategy is something I need to learn more about. You are keep writing everything in your notebook to understand yourself better. You are not trying to understand the problem. Of course, you are consuming the information you are trying to solve. But when you are consuming the information, there are certain experiences that you will have. I'm asking you to write those experiences in your notebook by your hand. Don't use phone or laptop to write that, that thing. This is reminder. This is note to keep in mind when you are writing your experiences. Please write it in your notebook or on a paper. For example, your experiences there, what you like, what you disliked about the idea and what are your favorite part in the particular book or in a particular podcast or in a particular video. Write everything about that in your note. Now there are two things which you need. Step three. We are talking about step three. You need these two things to become a great synthesizer. Number one, a great observer and a critical thinker. Now what you are really doing, what I just said when I was explaining you that what is synthesizing, that you consume the information and you put some question on that information. Okay. So when you are putting some questions on that information, you need to become a clear thinker to put the right questions. That, okay, this may work, but this may not work in this particular situation. What you will do in that situation? It means you just found a loophole and you put a question for that. It means you, you are an observer. First, you are a great observer. Did you observe that loophole? And when you observe that loophole, you are a clear thinker that you are able to put the right question in front of that information. So when you put that question in front of that information, this thing is clear that you have these two skills that you can think clearly and you can observe. So become great observer, become critical thinker. And after putting the questions, now you go again into other books to find something that fills that loopholes. And maybe you won't find any book or videos to fill that loopholes. And you will think because you are a clear thinker and come up with your own perspectives and ideas which will fill that loophole. And when you will talk about that loophole, you are talking about your own ideas. 
you are talking about your your ways of doing the things it means you are not copying you are not stealing you are synthesizing and creating your own step number 4 is my favorite that now you have this understanding okay i will fill this hoop loop hole this way or you have answers of the questions you put in front of that information now write about it write in your newsletter write in your twitter threads write on instagram create videos if you can like i am creating this video do anything but create create about that thing because now you are building that intellectual property your your intellectual property we talked about curiosity your intellectual property is the outcome of your intellectual curiosity when you follow it you find at the end that intellectual property so when you i am creating this video what i am doing i am creating that intellectual property in the online world even after years people may come and watch this thing so you build this intellectual property which will work as an asset to your income maybe because of this video or any video you will create you will get some clients you will get some audience and maybe you will get your mentor whenever whenever someone will see you speaking like this they will say okay this man has this boy has something to say this is uh, he is talking about right thing you can impress people you can get clients you can get audience so that's by building your intellectual property and i just told you how to build your intellectual pro- property by synthesizing by becoming by becoming synthesizer so this was the whole concept of becoming synthesizer i am a synthesizer i synthesize a lot of information my one video is coming where i will talk about how to think and how thinking can make you a better writer so for this video i have consumed a lot of information i am reading books even i am supposed to record this video on this day but i am not doing it because i want to take more time and create it better so give time in synthesizing learn this art of synthesizing and then build your intellectual property that will keep making you money and there are four skills you will need to become a synthesizer so watch this video to become complete full fledged synthesizer because you need these four skills so thank you so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe it like it and comment it thank you so much